Mic check one two one two. Cloud tokens here. Make sure you subscribe for more content. If you don't, I will harass you in the comments. This is a known fact. Do not test me. All right, so look. Playing with Nicki Minaj, I changed the goat. Like that bitch. Thank you, thank you, Megan. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank God, the Bobs can finally twerk in peace. I knew it was something off about when I seen y'all twerking in the club. It was like some type of stiffness, like nervousness, and I finally know what it is. Y'all, the whole time y'all was twerking, y'all were thinking about, is Nikki gonna approve of this? Do Megan even like Nikki? I finally understand y'all pain. I understand it. And I feel y'all. Alright, so earlier, about an hour ago, Nicki Minaj was on live discussing the Megatron challenge and all the talent, basically it was a talent show remixing her song Megatron. And Meg Thee Stallion came into her live and requested her. Nicki Minaj had difficulty bringing her in. Bullshit, bullshit. Then, she finally got in. And they started talking. And Meg and called her the GOAT. She acknowledged that Nicki Minaj is the GOAT. Now, I'm not a female rap fan, simply because the things they rap about doesn't relate to me. Like, they're rapping about dudes, and I don't like dudes, so I can't relate to it. But, I have to say, Nicki Minaj is the GOAT. She's done the most commercially selling and she writes her raps lyrical as hell amazing Now we all know the drama she had with Cardi B and in this live Nicki Minaj and the stallion Won't say her name, but they refer to her and, and then Nicki Minaj says up. Oh, I can't say nothing The internet be running with it. The internet be running with it and Yeah, so let me know what y'all think about this. Barbs, can y'all finally sleep at night? Can y'all? I really hope y'all can. Because y'all really been mad about a lot of things lately. And I know what it was. I knew what it was. It was this. Y'all love Meg Thee Stallion, but y'all didn't know if she liked Nicki. And y'all was in an awkward position. But y'all good now. Everything's good. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Is this good for hip hop? Are y'all happy about this? Me personally, it's always cool for people to be cool with each other. But it really doesn't affect me because I don't listen to female rap. But for those who do, let me know how y'all feel about this. Listen. Oh my fucking gosh. <laughs> <laughs> we are gagging right now. We are dead. Hey. hey. Yes, we love you. Oh my gosh. Since motherfucking 2008, when I was in eighth grade and I could listen to rap mm -hmm. on my own. Thank you. I appreciate it so much. We and congratulations on, on you doing your thing and rapping and, and writing and going to school. Okay, exactly. You know I've always been about school. Like yes. when, when, it wasn't, when it wasn't popular to talk about it, I always thought that that was a dope thing. So Apparently I, motherfuckers are still confused about bitches going to school. Like it's not the real, not the real motherfuckers. Not the, not right the real motherfuckers. You know, you know what I'm saying? But people, you know, they're a little scared of it. They're a little shook. About you being in school? This motherfucker gonna ask me, sorry, are you not ashamed about claiming being in college? My only regret in life is not going to college. That's my only whole regret in life. Like, I just wanted to go to college just to say, like, I didn't have that experience. And, like, I always feel like... When I see people go to college, like I'm living vicariously through them. College hard as fuck. So I mean, and but we in that bitch. Out. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at that check. I said, "Damn, we're 
gonna finish school though. <laughs> no, no. Oh hell to the motherfucking no. We gonna you finish. Better, you finish school. You better finish school. I'm gonna finish that shit. I I just started doing like a scholarship pageant for other girls that like to get turned and still go to school. Really? What year are you in? I'm a senior. I'm about to graduate. You're. A, oh, you definitely gonna finish school then. What's your? Oh major? yeah, I'm gonna finish that shit. What's your major? Healthcare administration. Ah. Yeah, nothing to do with music. I just wanted to open up some like facilities in my city. That's some dope. Assisted living facilities in the city, you know. For you Houston, can, and, and, you, and you can still do that. You should still do that. We gonna you, do that. Yes, you have to do that because th sometimes people have like two different kind of callings in their life, you know. So make sure you do that too. That too. That Very too, much that's that. Because that's a blessing in itself. You know what I'm saying? That comes back. And you just, I, it, everything is happening simultaneously, I think, because you're in school, it's your senior year. Yes. And like you're doing your thing in, in the music. And now it's like all coming together, which is a, like the best feeling in the world. You don't want to be. Because then, because then. Two plan A's. Huh? I had two plan A's, school and music. That's good. I had um my plan A was acting to be honest. And I know because we it. know. Look like I did slumber party. Yeah, I didn't make it and um and then I said, you know, let me try music. Baby, you was Nicki Minaj. How are you gonna do a freaky girl song without Nicki Minaj? Okay, like And you wouldn't know so crazy that you said that? Why I really that I was trying to play my fans a song and I started that song by saying to the artist that I'm on that song with, oh, I heard you want to do a freaky a freaky song with Nicki Minaj. That's so crazy that you said that. That is my shit, okay? Since day one, I've been I still put people on Slumber Party and Freaky Girl to this day. I'm like, no, we this is the, this is what we're gonna start off with, okay? First of all, y'all can't even go through the catalog without listening to this <laughs> verse, okay? Thank Hold you. Up. Skip, skip to my this part. Skip to her part. Yeah, skip to, skip to, skip to Nikki. This is what we doing every Nicki Minaj song. Bang, give me all the pretty words. Cause my pussy game. Oh, when he's in it, he's like, he's like, and he's pulling with that. that what? Like he's strumming his guitar. That's me. I am a Nas. I am. Keep a couple of pretty bras, cause what? Kinky. Make a nigga. Bitch, I'm it. Hey. <laughs> Stop playing with her. Yes. Oh, okay. Stop playing with Nicki Minaj like she ain't the motherfucking goat. Like she ain't that bitch. Thank you, thank you, Megan. Thank you, uh, thank you so bitch, much. Don't ever ask me shit. Don't ever question me. I, I already know the vibes on another you know level. The fucking vibes. Tell these people quit playing with us. I know the heart. Don't get me started. Stop. Stop fucking it. playing with us. I rebuke it. Say In the name of me. Jesus. <laughs> about that that's what i'm saying like people gotta stop being so sensitive like everybody taking shots and jab that's not the vibes that's not what we're doing we all ladies we all women we all for that empowerment rah rah whoopsie whoop you know what i'm saying yeah. all i said was stop playing with Nicki Minaj like but just <laughs> that's all i said no it's just anyway so let's move on to something else so um 
so basically, oh, my! what I was doing today, to be honest, is trying to pick my Megatron Challenge winners. Okay. And it was a lot of dope females in, in the competition. So many, so many good girls. And, okay, you can help me with this question. Okay. Is it unfair for me to do a poll? Because if those, if certain girls or certain guys have a lot of followers or fans, then their fans will vote. Should yes. I just do it? Because but it's hard for me to do. You have to do it because it wouldn't be right. Because if you didn't pick it, you know what I'm saying. Like if you let the internet pick it, it's not. No, it's but not what like... if I'm picking my fave top in every category, and then I'm like, all right, well, y'all got narrowed down. Because I'm scared. I'm I'm nervous. Like no, I... because they want to know your opinion. But they know that I love. Like I already named the. I it's certain. It's like four bitches that I love. Right. Like that really bodied and showed out. And right. with dancers and with guys. But I, the Megatron Challenge is supposed to be three three winners. Should I just pick more winners or should I just be like, you know what, this is it, bye, and on to the next? It is what it is. It is what it is. You didn't make it this go around. That don't mean you're not going to make it the next time. That's true. Yeah. I love that. John Jay. John Jay, yeah. bitch, you stay. John you just got to keep going. John Jay, bitch, you stay. Listen. That is it. You know what my motto is for the challenge? Y'all, y'all might didn't make it this time, but y'all don't, that doesn't exactly. mean y'all not going to make it the next time. We going to have other challenges. We going to be other shit for bad bitches to fuck with. And that's fucking that on that. That's that on that. So if you didn't make it, don't be salty. That don't mean you can't growl. That don't mean you're not that bitch. That just means next time. That just means you really like these bitches this time. Oh, right. I'll, I'll fuck with that. I'll so fuck with that. And that's what we're going to go with. I'm just going to say, okay, this is who I love. And you other girls get honorable mention. I'm going to let them know that I love them. We love and, them. And that's it. So what else is new? What else is on the, what else is on the, on the board to, to be discussed? So we're dropping a Hot Girl Summer song. <laughs> We finally giving them a hot girl summer song. Y'all, don't let Nikki fool y'all. Like, she ain't been having a hot girl summer. You can still have a hot girl summer with your man. Okay. Oh, that. You can still have a hot girl summer with your nigga. Okay. But don't let nobody tell you you can't. So, Nikki who's on the hot girl summer song? Oh, it's just me and Ty Dolla Sign. You know what I'm saying? Oh, really? Yeah, because, you know, somebody... They so busy and whatnot. Oh. Girl, huh. do not do not even try it. Jeez. You know I know. I know no. What? These where's DJ Boo? Somebody go get him. I'ma stay mute on that too. But I know no. I know. Somebody go get them. Because we've been looking for it. Really? Yeah, we've been looking for it. So it's okay because I'm finally going to have an album. And oh we have God. to. I'm finally going to start working on my album. And we need we need the queen. Okay. When is, your, queen. when is your album coming out? Oh, girl. We don't have a date. We just started recording. Okay, but it's good that you have this good, you have a good energy going into the recording, and it's going to make it fun, and you, you're you feeding off of the fans' energy, too, so I think it's going to make it easy easy for you to complete the album. Does it feel like it? Don't overthink yourself, you know, like... Cause, cause well, I don't rock with me, I rock with them, and it's just that, and they're going to fuck with the album, and they're going to love it, and... That's the... what, what's your sign? I'm an Aquarius. Oh, okay. I'm a Sagittarius. I don't think I know much about Aquarius women, but um, but that's a good outlook to have. But I will, I would say, don't overthink it and don't beat yourself up. Because yeah. let me tell you something. All the times when I be working on albums, like I be stressing myself the fuck out, and then when I don't, when I when I just kind of let my hair down, so to speak, with stuff like freestyles and stuff, that's what they love. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Every time I make a song, I'm like, okay, no, this whole got to be hard. I got to do this. I got to do that. And then when I make a freestyle, everybody be like, oh, yeah, it's viral. And I'll be like, damn. Like, it's I'm going to think about that shit. 
Yeah, it's because um we're and plus we're we're school girls in our brain and yeah. so we so and we're and we write so automatically we treat it like work. Yeah. And you know what I mean? Like we automatically are treating it like work. And I find that when I treat it like fun and playtime, I get better results. So it's just weird. So I would I would give you that um as a suggestion because it's just like feed off of that energy. All that good energy that you're getting put put it into that because it's almost like the world can dictate it for you like they'll dictate your album or your songs for you you can tell like you when i first came out like i, I had such a strong with my fans that it was just like i it was really like fuck the world yeah my babies and they got me and i got them is they whoever don't whoever don't get it they don't whoever get, don't they fuck with it they just don't they gonna catch up they gonna we catch can't force up. it they gonna catch up, but um, but yeah, I saw that you were trying to go live with me, and I nothing came up on my thing, but now I know how to do it. So thank you for popping my live, Cherry. Yeah, Nikki does not go live with anybody. So her first I, time, I broke. No, the I went live with somebody before, but I don't know if they requested me or something. But nothing that you sent came up as a request. I had to go on that list and put your and click your name. Well, we but did normally, it. We got it done. We got it done. So I'm in LA. I was supposed to be getting dressed. Um, I'll I'm be hot there tomorrow. Where are you? I'll be in LA tomorrow. Oh, you coming to LA? Yeah. Okay. 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 Boobs is out. Ooh, ass is out. Ooh, ooh. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Okay, look, Nikki. We fucking love you. I'm gonna stop you. I'm gonna find baby. you in LA. Okay. So don't run from me, friend. What? I, what would I want? Don't run from me, friend. Don't run from me, friend. Okay. Um, I'm not never gonna, gonna forget, gonna that, gonna forget, gonna forget that, 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 that you said that. I'm gonna hold you to those motherfucking words. Don't that. run from me, friend. Because I would speak to you off this live, and we go. We anyway. We gonna get into some time. Okay. Time. We gonna you get into it. You are love you. Show. So, but anyway, but, 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 but I really, really appreciate you. And, and I, even though we've been joking a lot, I want to tell you that it means a lot to me, all the nice and all the sweet things that you've ever said. Like, it means the world to we me. We love you. I love you back. All right, you guys. And, so, and to my fans and to Meg fans that are watching right now, to everybody, I will come back when I have a way to play this song that Meg reminded me of, that I wanted to play y'all a little bit of the intro. And um, tomorrow she's going to be in L.A., is, and I'm pulling up, so don't run for me, friend. <laughs> don't run for me, friend. Don't run for me, friend. Don't run for me, friend. Yo, you, what is, that's a new phrase. Like, please make that a phrase. Don't run for me, friend. Y'all remember that. That's the fucking phrase. That's the new That's phrase. the phrase right there. Don't run for me, friend. Don't <laughs> run for me, friend. Okay, baby. Enjoy your night. Be safe. Love and you. Fly, travel safe tomorrow. Okay, love you too. Bye, y'all.